Now, we have today a situation where multitudes are going to churches, but they're not following the Word of God. So is it their church or is it God's church? So therefore, it's their church. So they decide to make a God the way they want to make Him. But brothers and sisters, you can't make God other than what He is. God is the author and finisher of all of our faith. God knew our name before we ever entered our mother's womb. Amen. God always was and can never die. Right, right. Mankind reaches the end of his journey in a physical condition, but God has prepared a heaven reward through a spiritual understanding concerning his word. So everything develops into a character that has to reflect God's glory. And an unworthy temple or individual, as the Bible sometimes referred to as temple of God, it cannot reflect God's glory if it is disobedient to the instructions God has to build up the character that must reflect and represent Him. Yes. So today we have churches, it used to be packed and not packed any, anymore. Right. But they used to be packed out because they want to hear a message that they want to hear and not what God wants them to hear. Right. And listen close. To develop the code of character that is necessary to make a transformation from carnality to spirituality, there has to be instructions. If you buy a brand new car, they give you a manual. Amen. You buy a brand new 
uh, well, without the other month or so or two, we bought a brand new dryer. And I looked at that thing, I said, well, wait a minute, I know how to turn it on, but you got this cycle and that cycle and yes. this, my goodness, if you don't read the instruction, you'll never know how to actually work it. All right. Amen. So in a new car, you, look, you, one, uh, we rented a car and I was looking around how to start the car. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I had called the uh, rental agent and said, oh, oh, how do you start it? He said, well, what do you do? Put the key in. He said, well, where does the key go? <laughs> so it, 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 if, you don't know the, if you don't know how to do something, you better make sure you know who, who to ask to find out how to do something. Yeah. So the Bible gives us a code of instruction to follow. Yeah. And church, if we don't follow those instructions, how are we going to accomplish what God has intended for us to accomplish? And that is to change the individual from within. You're not acceptable unto God unless you change from within. The carnal you is not acceptable in the sight of God. It is the spiritual you. But the spiritual you must dominate the carnal you. In other words, as I've said in times past, there might be things you want to do, but you can't do it because spiritually you, you, you're responsible now. So I can't go to the bars and drink liquor and and do what I used to do. I have to do now what God has instructed for me to do because the positive character must reflect God to others who are seeking after God so all can come to the full knowledge of God. Yes. If we don't come to that full knowledge, how are we going to go back to glory with Him when God requires that we present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and receptive unto Him, which is our reasonable service? And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed. You can't transform yourself unless you have a different mind thought. And if you don't have a different mind thought, it's because you're not taught how to think. That's right. So the Bible gives us a code of ethics to follow. But in order to follow that, you've got to be first taught what the code of ethics is all about. Yeah. So this is what the Bible is for, to try to transform us from carnality to spirituality that we can receive the glory of all the benefits that are in the glory of God and that we might be counted worthy when the judgment throne comes. Now in my main text, I want to go to Matthew. Give me Matthew 7 and 20. Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. And that's where I want to start my, my main text. Yeah. By their fruit ye shall know them. God, again, is liking a tree and the fruit of the tree to a quality of character of an individual. He says by their fruit or by their yes. character, yes. by their lifestyle, you know them. And I'm going this direction to say this. All the people who voted against Trump, mm -hmm. yet you call yourself a Christian, mm. yes. but you vote for Biden and a Hindu vice president, yeah. And again, you call yourself a Christian. Right. I'm here to call you a liar oh, in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the only way you can tell if a person is truly what they say they are, you got to know their fruit. Amen. I can say I'm a billionaire all I want. Mm -hmm. But if you know I ain't got a dime, right. you know I'm not a billionaire. Right. Right, what? By their fruit. Yeah. By their action. So again, if you vote but President Biden, which most of you did, and go to church, first of all, you're a genuine hypocrite and a liar in the church of God. Because by their fruit you shall know them. Biden is for sodomy and lesbian behavior. He appointed to a government office a known and confessed and admitted sodomite who used to be the mayor of, one, of uh, Indiana. Gary, Indiana. Yeah. He has since appointed so-called transvestites and other, yeah. uh, you might say, homosexuals to high government position. He is doing this, he is not a, a, a sodomite, but he's doing this to appease a segment of the structure that voted him into office. In other words, he is making an appeasement for them yes. and to them. But again, by their fruit you shall know them. Now he claims to be a Catholic. Yeah. Big deal. <laughs> what does that mean? 
And Catholic has no identification with Jesus. Right. Catholics taught you there were three gods in heaven. Mm -hmm. When the Bible says only one. Oh. Catholics taught you had to pray to Mary to get intercessory with God. Yeah. But our Bible tells us you've got to go to Jesus to get intercessory with God because Jesus is God. All right. All right. So you have all this confusion in the churches and the multitudes that follow, as I said before, Joyce Myers and T.D. Jakes and all those hypocrite preachers. You follow them blindly because, first of all, you don't know what their quality of character is. Yes. But the Bible says, by their fruit, you shall know them. You know them by how, by their action, right. not by necessarily what they say. So again, if you voted for Biden, and the Hindu woman for vice president, you are blaspheming the word of God and the spirit of truth, which is no forgiveness in this life or the life to come if you blaspheme the Holy Ghost. Now, the Holy Ghost is nothing more than the spirit of truth. Yeah. So if you go against the spirit of truth, you blaspheme the Holy Ghost. Yeah. So how are you going to be forgiven if you do it in this dispensation of time, in this lifetime, how can you be forgiven in the next lifetime when there's no repentance? Yeah. Repentance is now, yeah. in this lifetime. But if you don't know what to repent of, how are you going to know if you don't have a preacher to tell you? But what if the preacher is lying to you? If the preacher tells you, well, God made sodomites and that like he made everybody else, well, then that would be something wrong with God. Why would God make someone like they are and then condemn them to death like they are? That's not fair. And God is a just God. So somebody has made a mistake. So God didn't make the mistake, but man did. All right. So God ain't never made no nothing other than male and female made he them. Yeah. And told them to go and replenish the earth, yeah. multiply. But again, you can't take two men and make no baby. Lord. You can't take two lesbians and make a baby. You, it takes a woman and a man to make a baby. Like God ordained from the very beginning. Yeah. So again, by their fruit, you shall know them. Now, well, here's the point. Why would they vote against Donald Trump, who's against sodomy and lesbian behavior, and vote for Biden, who's for sodomy and lesbian behavior. Why would you vote against Donald Trump, who's against baby murder, and tried to close down Planned Parenthood, but he simply wasn't strong enough, and vote for someone who's for Planned Parenthood? Do you know Planned Parenthood is supported by the taxes of the people? Do you know you pay your taxes and help kill little tiny babies? Oh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, but it's the law. So when you vote Trump out and vote the devil in, right. by their fruit, you know who they are. Yeah. I mean, you ain't got to have carry no sign on your back saying, I am a, a Christian. Look at your lifestyle. Right. Who did you vote for? How can you vote for somebody who represents the devil and against someone who tries to represent God? Right. By their fruit, you shall know them. Now the Bible says, get me over in uh, the book of Hebrews, the 11th chapter, and I want to kind of connect this in. In Hebrews 11th chapter, pick up in verse 24 through 26. By faith Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Now wait, by faith Moses, great prophet, yes. first prophet, when he come to years, that, now that means translated when he has come to an understanding. But how did he come to an understanding? Had somebody told me, look, you living in the king's palace and king ain't right. Somebody had to tell him. Somebody had to teach him. Oh, hallelujah. Until finally he came up of an age to realize, wait a minute, I got to make a decision here. Read. Refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God. Now wait, you say choosing? Yes. So he had to make a choice. Yes. You make a choice to come to church. Yes. You choose to go. Don't nobody make you. Nobody put no gun on you. Hallelujah. You choose because somebody has told you something about the church of God. Well, if somebody has told you about the church of God, and the church of God teaches against lesbian and sodomy behavior, how can you vote for somebody who's for sodomy and lesbian behavior? Yeah. How can you dare go to a church for the preacher if you just stand up yeah. and call things as they are? Amen. How can you go to church that uh, allows for 
the slaughter of innocent babies yeah. called Planned Parenthood, which ain't nothing but a, 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 a death count. Yeah. Amen. Amen. No one said what the Nazis had over in Nazi Germany. Right. What was it called? Auschwitz. 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 Yeah. Bergen Belsen. Yeah. Dachau. All of these were death camps where they slaughtered innocent people not because of what they did, but because of who they were. Yeah. Not because they did some criminal intent or intent, criminal act, but because they represented the Israelites. Yeah. So the Bible says the Israelites must be persecuted. The Bible says Moses suffered persecution rather than, rather than to be with the, with the, uh, to suffer with the children of God yeah. rather than be called Pharaoh's daughter yeah. or son. Amen. So I'm saying you make a choice within yourself whether or not you want to suffer in the church of God or whether or not you're going to follow the crowd. Right. I'm not a crowd follower. Amen. I thank God I never was a crowd yeah. follower. Amen. I never had a whole lot of friends when I grew up. Amen. I had few friends when I grew up. But I learned how to how do you make myself happy? Yes. Oh, how do you do I had a baseball career? Yes. But I, a lot of times, I played catch with a pillow. All right, Amen. Amen. I mean, all through the winter months, when you couldn't play no ball, I'd get a baseball and go across my mother's living room, put a pillow on the couch, and throw that pillow all day long. Amen. And I must have struck out everybody in the major league. Right, right. How do you know? There goes one. There goes Andrew. Right, right. There goes Joe DiMaggio. They struck him out with his car. Anytime you choose to be a follower of God, you better learn how to make yourself happy in the church of God and not be a comfort to the world because the world ain't never going to make you happy. The world will lie to you. The world will trick you. The world will use you. But the church of God will never use you. God will never protect you. You got to make a new mind. Who you want to say? Yeah. But the code of ethics was taught Moses at an early age. And finally, the Bible says, when you come to age, yeah. when you come to an understanding, I've got to make a choice here. Now, he didn't make his choice all of a sudden. Nope. He wrestled that thing. Right. Maybe two or three years. Amen. 18, 19, 20, who knows? But he wrestled with it. And to finally said, I've got to make a decision here. And he made a choice. Read that passage, what it says? Choosing rather to suffer. Choosing rather. To suffer affliction with the people of God. Suffer in the church of God. Than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. And to go out in the world and have a good time. Yeah. Party in the bars. Sometimes party after the bars close. <laughs> Man said people go to the bars look for women. <laughs> he said long about closing time all women look good. They all look the same. All of them, John Cole, John Lee, all of them look like Mary Monroe. <laughs> I'm trying to let you know, brothers and sisters, there is an ethical code that a person must adopt in order to win Christ. Paul said, I suffer all things that I might win Christ. In other words, I don't care what I give up in the world. I want to get close to God. That's a proper, proper statement. And, and even the scripture teaches us that the preacher, when he called Paul in, and Paul told God on the road to Damascus, what will you have for me to do? That's right. In other words, tell me what choice I got to make. Amen. And God told him the choice. Go to Damascus. I got a preacher who will tell you what you must do. Yeah. And the preacher said, Paul, God has chose you, but you got to suffer affliction for Christ. Amen. Now he had a decision to make. He could have left, but he stayed. He allowed that preacher to teach him and to teach him and to teach him. And then God taught him himself. But I'm trying to show you, brothers and sisters, the decisions we have to make. And if you make the wrong decision, if you vote for President Biden and still go to church, please, you, 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 you give me a headache. We will give you critics of self. Oh, well, well, God, and comes a bad man. Yeah, bad man. That, 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 listen, God didn't call him to be a preacher now. That's the thing. Amen. But he called him to teach certain parts of the scriptures that are paramount. He made man and female. Yeah. You can't intertwine some uh, uh, gifts, a uh, person to get uh, uh, castorized, uh, 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 castrated, and, 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 and then give him some injections and say he's a woman. Come on. Now they pass a law where a man can be a man, but because he said he's a woman, now he can play on women's sports. Yeah. So you got a man playing basketball in the women's league. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess he can play. 
a little bit better than a woman because he's a man. Amen. Oh no, he got cast out. I don't care, he's still a man. Amen. He got injected, he's still a man. He got implants, he's still a man. He's a freak of nature, but he's still a man. What you are pulling up, that's what you are. And if God bless you as a man, you are a man. If God bless you as a female, you are a female. And don't let nobody lie to you. I mean, that's what you are, you are. From the mirror and stand from the mirror. Right. Now you can't stand from the mirror because you didn't cut off everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> and add on something. Hey. If you add on something, it ain't gonna work. Amen. I said, well, you get your cup over by it, it still ain't gonna work. Right. I'll bet you on it. Yep. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I ain't said that was a man, but I'll bet you on it. That's right. <laughs> but we are now blinded by what's popular. They call it politically correct. In other words, what's popular is right. Jesus wasn't popular if you stop and think. Amen. Didn't he stand for the Roman governor? And the Roman governor who's a heathen? Yeah. Said I examined the man and can't find no fault in him. They said crucify him. He said, wait a minute. I had examined him twice. I can't find nothing wrong with him. What did he do? They said crucify him anyhow. Mm. He said, well, well, I got a convicted man. Convicted of murder. That's right. I'll hang him and let this man Jesus go free. He said, no. The murderer turned loose and convicted a man who ain't done no wrong. So anytime you come to the Holiness Church and they ostracize you and make fun of you and laugh at you, brothers and sisters, they've done the same thing to Jesus. Amen. And what they've done to Jesus, they're also going to do it to us. I remember when I kept begging my pastor to preach. Every month I'd go to the pastor, I'm ready, I'm ready. He said, okay, all right. Next month, I'm ready. I'll be here. Finally, he said, look, I want you to get some tracks and get your Bible. And Friday night or Saturday, get off work, go to the street corner. Now get a crowd to the street corner. Go in front of a bar somewhere and then get you a text and preach. You ain't got to preach no half hour, 45 minutes sermon, just preach your sermon and go back in the car and pass out some of the tracks. <laughs> the first time I went, I said, no, I ain't gonna do this no more. People be making fun of you and laughing at you, and they take the tracks, and, and you can, I could follow them up from the corner back to my car and follow the tracks that they didn't throw down, I didn't pass stuff. Mm -hmm. I had a young lady walk up to me, took some tracks, and listen to what I had, and I part of my sermon, and said, please give me a track. I gave her a track, she smiled, and took the track, and Tore it in half and throw it right in my face. And that hurt me so bad. And I never forget. She said, I'm Jewish. And I said, Well, so is Jesus. Right, and she started laughing. I had a man grab tracks out of my hand, ball them up, and throw them on the ground. She said, I can't stand preachers. I said, Well, what you done? You done to Jesus. Oh. No, I ain't mad at Jesus. I just don't have no preacher. I said, What you do? The least of these, you do it also to him. That man walked with mom, turned around, came back, picked up the track, and tried to smooth him out, and put it back in my hand. So here, he said, and what do you mean, mom? said, I don't like preaching, but I ain't mad at Jesus. Right. Oh, yeah, you, you mad at Jesus. That's why Jesus convicted you. Right. He come back and tried to smooth out the track. Just get the track. Word. And I guarantee he went home, couldn't sleep. Right. Anytime. You're in the right way. The world's going to hate you and reject you and persecute you. But hear what I'm saying. All you so-called Christians voted for President uh, uh, Biden and knowing he's for baby murder. And that's all Planned Parenthood is about. Someone shared me the other day, said there's a doctor. Uh, no, there wasn't a doctor. He worked uh, at the Planned Parenthood. She worked at the Planned Parenthood. And the conviction got so strong on her. Someone asked her, why you work there? And I guess she had a rethought and began to condemn Planned Parenthood quick. Amen. Listen, if you're an alcoholic, don't tell me the only job available is tending bar. Oh, yeah. And you can't make me believe that. Oh, a man, outside of preaching, a man walked to me and said, I like your ministry. He said, I got a ministry too. Y'all heard me say this. I said, oh yeah, what? He said, well, I want you to come with me. I said, oh, well, well, what is it? He said, my ministry is to go to the topless bars and witness. I said, oh. 
Okay. Let me pray over it. And I'm gone. Yeah. Your, your, witness, your witness is to go into the top of this box. Is it because you want to go into the top of this box? Right. And, and you're going to take the crutch of Jesus? No, I don't think so. God ain't got to send no preacher in the top of this box to save the soul. Get that top of this person come out the box right, and come right. to church. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. There are certain things you don't do. Certain things are not ethical. Certain things don't do those cause of character. Yeah. Don't tell me you can vote for someone who's for murder, someone who's for sodomy, someone who's for negative behavior, when God has rejected both. Yes. Amen. And both testaments rejected it. Right. Amen. Yet you say you're a Christian. You say you're a Christian, I say you're a liar. Amen. Amen. Prove to me you're a Christian, I can prove to you you're a liar. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. What does it say by that thing? By that proof. You should know them. Yes. Hallelujah. Now, everyone who said to me, Lord, Lord, change the kingdom of heaven, but they that do the will of my Father. What is the will of the Father? It's in the doctrine. How shall they know what they have not heard? How shall they hear without a preacher? But if the preacher is afraid to preach, T.D. Jakes, Joyce Meyer, when's the last time you pro, uh, preached against Sodom and lesbian behavior? When's the last time you ever preached cold pant parenthood? Amen. You devils out there. And you little devils who go to the church of the big devils. Amen. All you devils know you're going to the same place. Amen. You're going to hell. Amen. Amen. And that's the truth. Hallelujah. Lord, don't let me fail. I want to be your friend. Hold me by your side. When my faith gets weak, yes. Oh, oh. about all the hypocrites who voted in Biden as the President of the United States and you have no excuse because Biden was on record saying he's for abortion yeah. mm -hmm. and they murdered three or four thousand babies a day in the United States. Yes. He was on board saying he's going to further the rights of transgender. Right. He was on board saying he's for same-sex marriage mm -hmm. and you so-called Christians voted for him anyway. Shame on you. Right. That's all I'm going to say. But probably just get it all. I'm going to come in the back my great problem. So you like be encouraged. Yes, we doing the right thing. Right. Let them hate us. Right. But we wrestle the word of God. Know that the world hated you, hated me, before it hated you. Yes. yes. And who can harm you right. if you be followed of that which is good? Mm -hmm. So again, let's give our great father a great hand. Yes, we right. so we're going to have a great time in church tonight. Yeah. We thank God for Jesus only for the time right here and for the soul of our feet. Now we all stand to be dismissed. May the Lord watch. Between me and thee. Between me and thee. While we're absent. While we absent. One from another. One from another. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God be with you. God be with you. Yes, Jesus. God be with you. Until we meet again. Oh.